Hello? Yes. I'm Brandon Murphy. What is your name? Brandon Murphy. Yes. yes. So you didn't appear when I called this case. Yes, I was in the Zoom meeting, but I also was at work and my phone had died. So I had to, I had called the courts and let them know what was going on. And she told me to get back on as soon as possible. Well, what time did I call this and dismiss it? Uh, just one moment. Um, her prior session ended at 1.28, started at 1.22 p.m. I call this around 1.22. Yes, sir. I was at work during the time. I, I've been on here since 8.45. When, that's when I logged in. And I and I only could have been on there. And I was on there. And my phone had died while I was at work. Still logged on to you guys. I didn't get off of work until 2. Where well, I can get a charger and I log right back in. Okay, well, here's the, here's the thing about that, okay? Look, Sorry. we do Zoom because of the pandemic, right? That's why we started this. Yes. And yeah. uh, I'm quite sure, I mean, you know, they're, they're wanting, you know, they've already put out court rules where they want us to use Zoom more and more and more. Just because we're at Zoom doesn't mean that people are supposed to treat this in, in a way other than a court appearance. So what I mean by that is, what I mean by that is, if we were here in person, you'd be sitting in this courtroom waiting for the case to be called at the appropriate time or, you know, whatever it gets called. All right, you wouldn't be at work. You, you know, you'd be here waiting. So yes, I, I completely yeah. understand that. But since eight, but usually whatever and stuff like that, I have been to your court many a times, and I get there at eight forty-five, and I'm not sitting there till one forty-five, two o'clock. You know, I well, mean, we had a, we had an appearance. A, we had a, go we ahead, had a no, very I'm sorry. We had a very heavy docket today. Yes, I understand that because I've been trying to get into your courts for the last month. And they told me I my they told me when I filed that it'll be three weeks later until I'll be able to see you. That's why I'm like, I can't, you know, I'm this is my first time doing this and everything like that. So I'm 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 new to all this. We had more than 50 people on Zoom. At one time, five zero. I, I understand that my screen has been my. I didn't get to this screen until I logged back in at three o'clock. My screen was white since eight forty five. No audio, no nothing, no communication saying that I was in the chat at all. It was just a white screen yeah. saying I'm in Judge Neighbors' waiting room. Well, let me put it this way. Anthony Murphy did show up. You did not. So. Well, I, okay. So I, I was here. I was I, I was here since 845. My phone died. No, no, I'm, at work. Hey, I'm trying no, to. Listen, I listen, don't understand. Listen. Now you're repeat, you are repeating what you told me earlier. Yes, I understand that. And I'm trying to. I'm repeating what you told me earlier. Because this is very frustrating, you know. I, 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 well, I, 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 you know what? As it, when I dismissed it, when I dismissed it, I didn't even look into your file. Yes, sir. I in understand. other words, in other words, let me tell you what I'm saying. I dismissed it because you weren't here and he was here. But I'm going to tell I, you something. I, I, I just I couldn't to miss work. You. Yeah, sir. Sure. Well, then I, I mean, you know, we don't schedule this at night. We schedule it, you know, during daytime business hours. 
I, can't I know. Help and it's, that. I mean, I mean, if this was the if this wasn't Zoom, you would have been down here. You would take the day off work and you would be here. If we weren't having Zoom or a pandemic, you'd have to be here in person. I understand so that. Kind of a, it's a convenience. But, it's not a guarantee that you can, you know, that you're going to get called at any particular time. It just isn't. But more importantly, now that I've looked but, in your file, I don't want to sure. listen to me. I would have dismissed it anyway. And you want to know why? Why is that, Your Honor? Okay. I just took a look at your notice to quit. You do not list on the notice to quit in paragraph one, why you're trying to recover property. You left it blank. That's and if okay. the notice to quit, if the notice to quit isn't filled out, you know, with the reasons why, that means I don't even have jurisdiction to hear the case. So, okay. so had, I, had, had, I looked at, had I looked at the file when your, uh, that was your uncle, right? I guess he's your uncle. Yes, yes. See that that's my uncle. This this is this is a sad situation, man. This is very sad. Well this don't, this don't, even had I you don't, even had you been here, even had you been here, had I bothered to look at the notice to quit, we'd be in the same spot. I understand that. And when I went down to the court, I explained to the to the lady, the secretary lady, that I I wasn't asking for any money. I was I was doing this secretary, because I wasn't listen. listen. The secretary or those clerks down there do not make that determination. That's a judicial determination to see if the paperwork is filled out right. I mean, basically okay. speaking, so I do a first, their job is, so I do, listen, so I do a first yeah, time tenant like you know whether or not they're filling out the paperwork correct in the first place, unless you ask the people. Hire like a lawyer, hire a lawyer, hire a lawyer. Hire a lawyer. I understand. Okay, I understand. Uh I understand. Hire a lawyer. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I won't, I won't put, I won't even be more precise than that. Hire a lawyer that does landlord tenant cases who knows how to do this because not all lawyers know how to fill out the paperwork properly. You know what I'm saying? So, what, what, what go on for a common tenant that, 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 it, it's not even a landlord, what's the name case? I don't even have a rental agreement. I just want my property back because my property has I been know destroyed. all of that. I get all of that. But look, you're not going to be held to a different standard than a lawyer would. If you choose to represent yourself, as you did, you got to be held to the same, or at least pretty close to the same standard that somebody who's got a law license would, would be held to. It wouldn't be fair to hold you to a different standard, would it? I mean, as a tenant, would I have to go get a lawyer to do this? Like it, it seemed like these the, uh, the landlords are getting punished in this situation. We still have to pay property taxes and maintain these properties and everything. And these tenants move in these houses and do whatever and say whatever, and they just stay there for months and months and months. And then when well, you get your it's property, it's not even. It's interesting. It's interesting that you should say that because here's the deal: in any kind of civil case. It's always the plaintiff who has the burden of proof, the burden of, of pleading things properly. The plaintiff has the burden to, you know, get their paperwork right, do their pleadings properly, and the burden of proof if the case is accepted, right? It's always the plaintiff's job to do that, not the defendant. They don't have to do anything. They can sit there like a potted plant if they want to. The burden's always on the plaintiff. So in these situations, the landlord's 99% of the time going to be the plaintiff on a landlord-tenant case. You're held to the stand same standard as any other plaintiff in any other civil act. I mean, look at it this way. You've invited all of us to the party, so to speak. So we're all here. So we expect you to have all your stuff correct. 
I understand completely. Which before I turned it in, I thought it was correct. But now that you have explained this to me, I understand. Yes, sir. I understand. Okay. All right. Now, you know, do we have the well, he's not down here. We would give you one of those landlord tenant books too. Do you have any more of those? Yeah, you can step in and get one at the clerk's office. At, the, at our court clerk's office, we have this little booklet called A Practical Guide for Tenants and Landlords that explains, you know, some of the basic things about these kinds of cases. You can come down here and pick one up. They usually have them at the library. They also have them in the state representatives and state senators' offices, too. You can get them from them. Sir, can I get a, uh, is there any way, type of way I can get a live neck when I go and I resubmit my case? Can I, can I see you in person? Because these Zoom ch chats, whatever, and stuff like that, if I would have came to court, I would have been the first person there and signed in and I would have been saw you instead of being on Zoom for hours and hours. It when you come like to court in person, about the fact that you were on Zoom than anything else. Okay, I, I, I'm more concerned that I lost nine. I lost about nine hours of my time of my life dealing with this today, and then I get dismissed, whatever stuff like that. What within you, a, you a you lost, your, looking, you lost what? You lost what? I lost, I lost nine nine hours of my time. Of my time, I lost nine hours of my time being on Zoom, trying to get into the trying to get to the courts, and then when my phone finally died. Within an hour that it dies, you guys will call me up here. It, I, it doesn't seem fair at all, but I understand completely. I will refile whatever and do whatever I have to do. I guess I have to get a an attorney. For I'm just frustrated. I go to do somebody a favor, and you you don't want to lose. My court. Let me say. Let me say this. My court recorder also indicates that at 10:30, she sent out a chat to everybody in the waiting room that said, please be patient as we work through this very lengthy doc. She set that chat out at 10.30. I know that's not much consolation, but let's, let me say this to you, sir. And, and I don't mind having this conversation with you because you, you know, are, are talking in a very reasonable, you know, way calm way okay yes you got to separate a couple you got to separate a couple of things out here you would have lost because you didn't fill the paperwork out right okay if we had called your case first that would have happened okay i didn't even bother to dig into the file since you weren't here and he was so that's a separate kind of issue that's a separate thing from you having to have a long wait. And it's even a separate thing from you having to have a long wait on Zoom. Do I like Zoom? No, I don't like Zoom. Not really. I, I mean, it Zoom slows things down. Because I get all these people who don't bring their phone charger with them or don't have a good internet connection or don't know how to work it. And they mute themselves or they talk and curse when they're not when they're supposed to be muted. And all kinds of stuff goes on on Zoom. It is disrespectful to the process. People think that they can do anything they want because they're in their own homes as opposed to being in physically in the courtroom. I would prefer that people be physically in the courtroom because they behave a lot better. You know what I'm saying? They do. Yes, sir. But that's the reality of 2022 with the pandemic going on and with the Michigan Supreme Court liking Zoom better than the judge. That's the reality. I don't think Zoom is going away. I wish it would, but I don't think it is. It's going to be with us in some form or fashion, I think, because guess who loves it? You know who loves Zoom? The lawyers do. Because it means they can do everything from their office. They don't have to drive from one courthouse to another courthouse. 
They don't have to go from one, you know, bounce around from one courtroom to another courtroom and all that stuff. They just sit in their chair and, and, and dial it on a computer and go back and forth that way. That's who loves it the most, is the lawyers. So I don't think Zoom is going anywhere completely. I think it's a disadvantage for people like yourself. But I, you know, this is the Michigan Supreme Court that makes the, these decisions, not me. So there's really three separate issues here. You'd probably be upset if you sat in the courtroom for all day and it got dismissed. Well, uh, if it got dismissed, I can, if I was in the courtroom, I could just go right back down there and refile right now, which I'm, I'm probably going to well, do in the morning. You can come back down here tomorrow. You can come back down here tomorrow and start it off. I, I sure will. I will be down there bright and early. Well, after I get off from work, I will be down there to refile. But I'll make sure I do the proper steps. Because I, I, I assume since I wasn't asking for any money that I can just get my property. Because if somebody's hollering squatters you right... Have to follow, you have to follow the process. you got to fill the paperwork out right. It's that simple. I understand completely, Your Honor. And I would do so. I would do so next time. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Right. No problem.